In this video, we're going to talk about how to use a video as a background in Google Meet and Zoom, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you create videos that get results. Now, my clients find this information helpful, so if you want the same experience, please consider clicking that subscribe button now. This video is going to be perfect for those people who have been unable to use video as a virtual background, perhaps in Zoom or Google Meet. You just don't have the option to add video. You, you, either your computer's not compatible, it's not fast enough to support it. Well, today I've got a workaround that's going to make it so you can actually use video as a virtual background. Now, we're gonna have to jump through some hoops to make this work, but don't worry, I'm gonna break it down step by step so you can do it for yourself. All right, step number one is we need to visit webex.com and we need to sign up for a free account or if you already have a Webex account, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and sign in. So once you have signed up for Webex, you want to download the desktop application. The, the, what I'm showing you is not going to work with the Webex browser. It needs to be the desktop application. So make sure you download that to your desktop or your laptop and then open that up. Now once it's open, if you're not familiar with Webex, we're going to have to create what they call a space. And to do that, we're gonna click on this little plus sign up here, and then we're gonna click on create a space. And then once here, we can type in anything we want to name this. We can type in me, and we're gonna click on create. Now we're inside our space in WebEx. Now to activate the video preview monitor, we want to click on this green button over here on meet. And what that does is it launches your webcam into the WebEx preview monitor. Now, the next step we want to do is we want to change the background here on WebEx. And the background we want to change it to is a green background, otherwise known as a green screen. Now, I have a link below where you can download a free green screen. It's basically a virtual or fake green screen. Follow the link below and download that green screen to your desktop or to your laptop. Then, back inside WebEx here, we're going to click on this button that says Change Background. And then we're going to scroll down and click on the plus icon. Next, we're going to navigate to that green JPEG image that I have provided. And we're going to choose that. And what that will do is it will import itself into the WebEx. And now you should see yourself over the green background. Now, as far as WebEx is concerned, this is as far as we go in WebEx. We're not even gonna click on that Start Meeting button. We're merely gonna use this as our video source with the green screen, okay? So follow along with me. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to download an application called OBS Studio. Some of you might be familiar with OBS. Basically, it's an open broadcast software it's totally safe to download. So what you want to do is follow the link below in the description for OBS Studio. Go to that website. So go ahead and download this to your computer, whether for Windows, Mac, or Linux, and go through whatever permissions you need to do to install the application. Once the application is installed, you want to go ahead and launch OBS Studio. Now, if you're just launching OBS Studio for the first time, You'll get this dialog box here that wants to auto configure your settings. And you got a couple options. You know, you can use it, for, you can use this for streaming, you can use this to record video, which is how I'm recording this video right now, is in OBS. You can also just use it for the virtual camera. So, whatever you want to use it for, you can always go back and change it later. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to click on only use it for virtual camera. So, click on that and then click OK. And now we're inside OBS Studio. You should be looking at a black screen with a bunch of menu items on the bottom. Now the way OBS works is we create scenes and inside those scenes is our media elements. Okay, So by default OBS has a scene already there for us. So what we want to do is we want to add our WebEx preview monitor 
and put that inside OBS here. So if you're on a Windows to do this, you want to click down here on the plus icon and then you want to navigate to where it says window capture. What this is going to do is it's going to open up a dialog box and you're going to drop this menu down here and you're simply going to navigate and find where the WebEx window is. Now, it might be labeled differently on your machine, but on my machine it's labeled like this. You're going to click on that and you should see your Cisco window with the green screen behind you. All right? So go ahead and click OK. Now, if you're on a Mac, when you're inside that window capture dialog box where you select the window, you may not see the window available. So if that's the case for you, what you want to do instead is you want to do a, what they call a display capture. So let's, let's cancel out of this box and then let's click on that window capture and click on this minus sign here. And what that's going to do is going to remove that from your scene. Go ahead and click yes to remove it. And then let's click on that plus icon one more time. And instead of window capture, we're going to click on display capture. Now display capture is basically going to capture the um, desktop view or laptop view of your system. Okay. So click on display capture and go ahead and select the monitor that your WebEx preview is showing on. And then click OK. Now, regardless of what system you have, this next step and every step afterwards is the same for both sides. So now you either have your window or you have your desktop view on this screen inside OBS. What do we want to do is we want to grab it with our mouse and drag it down a little bit so we can see these handles on the side. And what I like to do is go ahead and just um, position it so we can see the entire box inside. So you might have to shrink it down a little bit to kind of fit it within this little black box area inside OBS. And once you have that, what you want to do is you want to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click up here and drag down on these handles. And what this Alt key does is it crops. So we're going to need to crop out everything around the green screen, uh, including the WebEx branding, including the WebEx interface that's on the screen for your microphone, for your settings, etc. We're going to crop past that all the way down so what's left is just your green screen video. Okay, so once that has been cropped all the way, now you can let go of the Alt key, and now we can just use the handles on the side click and drag to expand and what we want to do is we want to expand that entire window to fill the frame make sure you see yourself on camera full frame all right the next step we want to do with your display capture or window capture item selected in your sources is click on this little button right here it's called filters open that up and then down here under effects you want to click on the plus icon and then you want to simply select chroma key and go ahead and name this chroma key whatever you like and once you have named it you will see your background instantly disappear and you can certainly fine-tune the chroma key with these uh, settings here but by default it does a pretty good job so click on close all right, now the next step we want to do is we want to add a video background. So video backgrounds could be uh, anything, anything you find online, maybe it's a stock video clip, maybe it's a video you have on your hard drive, anything like that will do. What you want to do to add it to OBS is down here in our scene is click on the plus icon and then click on media source. Now once media source opens up, you can name it whatever you want. And then what you want to do is click on the Browse button. So now you want to click on Browse and Navigate to find the video on your machine. And go ahead and click Choose. And we want to go ahead and click on the Loop button. That way the video is going to, when it's done playing, it's going to just start over again. So it's just this one continuous loop, which makes it perfect for a background. Once you have that, click OK. Now you should see your video background over top of your video feed. Not to worry. What we want to do now is we want to scale this video background so it fills the frame. So go ahead and scale it by grabbing the handles here and scale it all the way down so it fills the entire frame and now it should be covering the screen and yourself all together. 
Now, we want this to go behind us. So what we want to do is down here in our sources, we want to click on that media source, and we want to drag it down underneath our either window capture or display capture. Okay, so now it's underneath, and now you should see yourself on the video background. Okay, so now we have our webcam from WebEx keyed out with the chroma key filter and now sitting on top of our video background. All right, so now the next step is we're going to start this virtual camera. Now, before you click the button, though, you want to make sure you're not logged in to Google Meet or Zoom. So if you are logged into either of those programs, go ahead and log out. Once you're logged out, you want to click on this Start Virtual Camera. And what that's going to do is going to tell your computer that you have a virtual camera activated. Now, let me show you how to integrate this virtual camera into your Google Meet and your Zoom. So let's start with Google Meet. Jump over to Google Meet, meet.google.com, click on New Meeting, and start Instant Meeting. Once you're inside Google Meet, what you want to do is click on these little uh, dots over here, and then you want to click on Settings. Now you want to navigate to the Video tab, and you want to simply click inside Camera, and now you want to select your camera as the OBS Virtual Camera. Select that, X out of this window, and now you have your video feed with the video background inside Google Meet. Now, let me show you how to do this in Zoom. Inside Zoom, click on New Meeting. Once that meeting is launched, go ahead and select your audio source, etc. Now we're going to click down here in this little arrow key next to the video icon. And then in this menu right here, we're simply going to select OBS Virtual Camera as our camera source. And there you go. Now we have our video background inside Zoom. Now if you have any performance issues inside Google Meet with your video background, go ahead and disable any Chrome extensions that you have active. Some of the Chrome extensions can cause your computer to slow down and cause your video feed to not show up inside Google Meet or to be laggy, and you don't want that. And should you have enjoyed this tutorial, you're definitely going to enjoy these other tutorials for Zoom and Google Meet to get the most out of your video conferencing. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you create videos that get results.